Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, or Yahweh Kakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well. And our Shalom to the whole elect as I continually plow in this work, giving all diligence to make your calling election sure and all faith true sincerity. Now, the topic of this video is going to be entitled Wickedness Exceedingly Polluted the Whole Earth. In which, you know, the further and further that you excel in this truth, you know, the things that you saw uh, before time, when you first come into this truth, you know, you might not have understood so much about, you know, the different things that go on in this uh, society. You know, you might have, uh, you know, you'll have a knowledge of knowing that that's wicked, but knowing the gravity of um, the actions that that's, uh, these people do here in uh, America, which is uh, Babylon the Great in the scriptures. You know, after you get more understanding, then then you start to see the gravity of um, you know the things that are going on here in this in this society, current society right now because you know everything that's that's set up here in America and Babylon is uh, according to death. All right, and these people are all for it, man. You know because these people love death, man. All right. You know even our, even our Lord Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father. And his son Yahweh Shai. Alright. Even our Lord Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai even made a statement that, you know, him them that uh hate the hate him love death, man. Alright. So the Lord Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai is not in the thoughts of his his the majority of his people, which is so-called Negro Hispanics and Native Americans. And the only ones that are thinking about Yahweh Bashimi Al Shai, you know, about his ways. How he wants things done, all right. His law, statutes, and commandments is only the elect, man. All right. Only elect that the the, uh, the which comes was going to come out of the one third, all right. Because that one third number is also going to be uh, delivered. Only only in the one third minds of the one third of Israel, you'll find you how about Shemuel Shai there, man. All right. But, you know, as far as the things that we see now, man, you know, it's only going to get worse. All right. And we've been saying this for a while now, man. You know, looking at things that's going on here in, in this uh, current world, you know, it's only going to get worse, man, monetarily. All right. Which, uh, in other words, economically, uh, you've seen uh, World War Three. It's on the horizon. It's ramping up. You're starting to see the, the people be becoming more and more uh, uh, degenerate. Especially our people, all right. The morality is, is has declined. So, like I said before, man, it's only going to get worse until the Lord will have to intervene and destroy this place out the face of the earth, man. All right, it's going to be a a, a a cleansing of the land that you see here today, man. All right, not only here in America, which is going to be completely wiped out. But also other parts of the world, man. All right, because you got cars or rats, uh, Amalekites of the uh, the stock of Esau, which uh, Esau is the tribal nationality of uh, the so-called white man. You have them in in uh, in our land, man. You have them in in uh, Jerusalem, in Israel. All right, and that land's got to be cleansed. All right, because you have uh, abom abominable. Well, actually, you have abominations there in that land, man. So that land has definitely got to be cleansed as well, man. All right. But I'm going to go ahead and jump into the scriptures, man. Um, this is our second entrance, the 15th chapter. I'm going to start at the uh, fifth verse. It said, Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. All right. Because if this place was such a, a God fearing country, then why would the Lord make a statement like this? You know, especially these being um, the, the end times, man. And this is known as the end times. All right. You know, they like they like to say uh, this place was founded on, upon the Bible. In which this place wasn't founded upon the Bible, man. This place was founded upon uh, the interests 
of the bankers. That's why America is not really even a, a so-called country. It's actually an enterprise, man. All right, you can look that up. All right. It says, for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. All right. Why is it known as their hurtful works? It's because their works are, are pertains on the death, like I said at the beginning of the video, because it's anti-life. You know, that's why there's a deforestation uh, going on. That's why uh, different animals are going extinct. That's why the air is being polluted. It's still continually being polluted. And it's only going to get even more polluted. All right. The water is like contaminated. The food is tampered with. All right. And the life expectancy of the people are shortening, man, because of that. All right. Why is that, man? Because it's the wickedness has polluted the earth. Okay. Verse 7 said, Thus saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness. Let's lock it. It says, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, in which that, that same cry is in, entering to the ears of our Lord, man. All right, that same cry going all the way back to uh, Abel, when Cain killed Abel, those cries are still entering to the ears of our Lord today, man. All right, so the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and, and by doing these videos that we're doing and going out on the highways and byways, we're crying unto the Lord to destroy this place and to set up his kingdom once again, man, an everlasting kingdom, all right? You know, we're, we're tired of being vexed with uh, the filthiness and, and, and abominable things that are here in this land. So we're ready for this place to be cleansed by fire, man. All right. It says, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. All right. And by us complaining continually, you know, not only we go out in the highways and byways week in and week out, but also constantly, consistently putting up videos, man, the, uh, exposing these devils for what they are, exposing the wickedness of America. All right, exposing the wickedness that our people are committed, man. All right, and hacking and slashing all wicked thoughts and imaginations through the through this, the spiritual sword that we have, which is the Bible. All right, the King James sixteen eleven, man, the original King James Bible that was published that has the apocrypha in it. Because I'm reading out the apocrypha right now. This is the book books that were taken out of the Bible because it, hold, it holds truth. All right. That's why you go to the word apocrypha, it means things hidden. All right. Now, I want to jump from there. I want to grab another precept. Uh, Ashley should be in Sarat. Shit. Ashley, no, slacky, slacky. I slacky, I can't. I'm in transit right now. I'm trying to get myself uh, acclimated. heavy traffic but uh yeah i want to grab an uh another precept if i may all right it's a book of uh Sirach. The uh, tenth chapter, and I'm starting at the eighth verse. It says, uh, "Because of unrighteous dealings and injuries, and riches got got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another." And that's right, man. Because these Edomites, the so-called white men, started with the bankers, the elite, the so-called elites, the ones that you never hear about, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, so on and so forth. Basically, the way that they obtain this uh, this this world, this current world, pursuing the Job, the ninth chapter, and the twenty fourth verse, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, right? Is by unrighteous dealings, right? Injuries and riches gotten by deceit, right? And those injuries, it's the injuries which pertains unto our people, man. All right. And the riches that are gotten by deceit, man. In other words, 
the the way that they they uh got gotten their way into this uh gotten their power or gotten to their power, Slocky. It's by deceit because it's, it's a known fact that, that these families, these banking families, have um, very well trained their children to do do likewise, man. To basically, you know, I give you an example: the Rockefellers, right? You know, the Rockefeller family. Uh, it was it's was, it was, it was noted, and it's fact, and it's also a fact that uh, going all the way back, you know, they they would t- they would teach their children. Or or, or, or or try to uh, deceive their children, so they can be up and uh, well trained in knowing, you know, uh, how to uh, how to spot it out and avoid it. You know, for you know, for a lack of a better explanation. So they've been very well trained in in uh, deceitfulness, man. You know, lies. All right. That's why this is a a kept secret. That's been hidden for so long, but now through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, now it's uh, being put out in the forefront. And because we've been exposing these devils for who they really are, that's why they've been trying to take this truth off the uh, the internet and uh, try to take us off the highways and byways, man. Because they know who they are, and they know who we are. All right. Verse nine, it says, uh, "Why is earth and ashes proud?" There is not a more wicked thing than a covetous man, for such in one setteth his own soul to sell, because while he liveth, he casteth away his bowels. All right, let's see, that's pretty much it on that, man. All right, but like I mentioned before, man, this 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 place is uh, ripe for destruction, man. All right, actually, uh, I want to grab one more precept. I'm gonna close it on out. Make a quick quick precept. Quick precept. Uh, Joel the third chapter in the. Uh, 13 verses put you in the sickle for the harvest is right all right now harvest is uh starting with the destruction of this place and also to the salvation of the uh the chosen out of the nation of israel all right it says come get you down for the press is full the fast overflow for their wickedness is great so that same the same uh, scripture which i read early in second Ezra, the 15th chapter wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth so that the harvest is ripe right now man all right the press is full and it's ready to be uh reaped all right so in due time uh if you read a verse up all right about the valley of jehoshaphat like as you see right here on the screen that's when you're going to start to see the momentum uh start to ramp up even more man that that's because really that's the start of world war three all right and when that when world war three commences that will spell the end for this place which is uh America, which is known as Babylon the Great in the Scriptures, because once World War Three commences, then you start to see the missiles fly. That's when you start. That's when you will see the ICBM missiles uh, make their way over to this land. All right, that you people uh, hold near and dear. I'm talking about the ones that's outside of this fold of Yahweh Ba Shemuel Shai, man. All right. So that sickle is about to about to be um is about to reap.